All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, introducing the challenger, the Giant. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight reach. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice three punt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And a nice left hand there on the inside. He lands another punch to the head. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Straight punch land. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nermago Man. Inside leg kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Nermago Medov. Size with these beautiful leg kicks. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Wow. Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. Was a great single. Oh. Oh. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, he's the taller fighter and will land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Well, 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Under two minutes in the first round. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punch is blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmago Medov. Over and over, landing a big body kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Back and forth we go here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. And he landed the right hand there. <laughs> big hook. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the outfit. Right hand punches the clinch. Nurmago Medov shot is blocked. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmago Medov. Lands with the right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight idea. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Good jab. Try to establish that jab. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the fight. defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. They started to improve. They started to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Close guard. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. And he's back up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing. Box. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Magomedov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice one-two there. Calm down. It's okay. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? There's no tell on that leg kick. He is throwing a fast straight hard jack. Take it down. Cut. Take it down. Cut. Over and over. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Marco Medoff's trying to lock up on a submission now. He's going to take off more here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. 
absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a champion in the making. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission of confidence. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Right punches there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. comfort zone. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, single collar tie here. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nurmago met off strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, good lead left there, so didn't set it up with the jab, just went straight to the money shot. Went straight to the money shot and then landed. I wonder how many he can take. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Just out of range with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Circling to his right. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Right hand on point. A big head kick land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And they separate. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. Great job by him to get the takedown there. He did a good job of setting up his attack, securing it, and getting the desired result. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice loop of punch. Slips. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Back and forth we go! All right, single collar tie now. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Nermago Meta. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses with the punch by Nermago Meta. Another shot lands upstairs. You can up, you go down, as another takedown and tip play. Nice hammer fist.
pressure there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss. Spider Mago Meta. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head with the clinch. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of your arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, big punch lands. Right hand upstairs. <laughs> Unable to connect there. It's very tricky when you throw that body. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nermako Medoff gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. That D. That D hurt him. No surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on the cut. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You can catch a body kick, but you got to step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Take down lands. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and 
Offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not be able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the oh. didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Man. Oh, he might be out. Very, very explosive. And now he's got the tie clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Great punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Found the target with that left hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Right hand upstairs. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, the action continues here and now That's as our next round gets underway. And man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters. And it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. <laughs> All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Missed with that right hand. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Collar tie now. Right hand punch for Clint. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra top in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. Got DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. You got the turtle in that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, missed on that one.
Circling to his right. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. You either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, just give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Good punch, Lance. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. And just misses with that big right hand. And he counters with a left hand. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. And he oh! comes through with a big knee. Just missed with the straight left hand. You can't take many of those. You better check. Well, he misses with the left punch there. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go here. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So of course it's gonna be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-27, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, it wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same.